Uh, 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 bam! All right, guys. Our next fly is called the Lay Down Sally. <clears throat> it's a yellow Sally pattern that uh, has done quite well for me out here in the West. What I'll do is just start my thread here. I'm using a light wire scud hook here. This is to imitate the yellow sally mayfly that has already hatched it is just essentially it's it's spent it's laying down on the water it becomes quite easy pickings for a trout start with a small pinch of CDC dyed fluorescent orange give it two good wraps right there I'll trim that off Next step, I've got a light, excuse me, a yellow dyed turkey biop. I'll go ahead and tie that in as well. And I'll move forward with my thread. With nice touch and turns there. Back that off a little bit. And then I will begin wrapping my body. Using my rotary function on the vise. Then I have that nice uniform segmented look. interesting little tidbit about this species of stonefly is that they actually will emerge midstream so they won't crawl out on the on the rocks and hatch like you'll see the the really big Terranarsis stoneflies or the golden stoneflies you'll see that are active in the summer months these guys that will actually hatch out in the current in the water providing a pretty easy pickings for the trout next up here I'm just going to tie in some larva lace foam okay clean up my my wraps right there and then I'll go ahead and add my wing which is a section of tan dyed snowshoe rabbit. And I'll just figure eight these here to the hook. One side come back and do the other side so got the figure eight going on there you can see just like that and uh, I'm gonna trim my wing here eventually so not too worried about the length that is a little lopsided there but it's no big deal so uh, the next step I'm just gonna go ahead and dub in between the foam and the wing and the dubbing is a light yellow rabbit dubbing and I'll just grab a little bit more of that and I'll go ahead and figure eight through the wing just so it lays nice and clean there along the bottom as you can see Okay, and then uh, I'll just go ahead and dub again there in front of the wing up to about a wrap behind the hook eye Just 
just like that. Okay, you can see that. Then I'll go ahead and pull the foam over and tie it off. Here, tie it down, trim the foam right before the hook eye right there. All right, almost like on a uh, like an elk ear caddis wing. And then these guys, you can just trim them to size. And then I'm ready. That's my lay down Sally pattern. Essentially a spent little yellow sally works really really well through the summer uh, even after emergence and uh, and during the emergence uh, it's picked up quite a few fish for me this year I'll go ahead and tie that off and there you go that's the lay down sally more info on this bug Go ahead and uh, type in outsmartingfish.com on your on your web browser for uh, this more info on this bug and, and other bugs that we tie. Thanks for watching. Bam! Hello. Yo, what's up?